Good evening. I must say it's hard enough to deal with the pressure of a big football occasion, but add to that the snow factor and things really get ratcheted up. I'm Derek Ray, joined for commentary by former England international Lee Dixon, and we've got Champions League group stage action to bring you tonight. It is Club Rouge against Borussia Dortmund. Yeah, the long road to the final starts here in game one. Always think that if you win your home games and don't lose your away games, you've got a good chance of progressing. begin the game today wing backs are important on this setup did you enjoy your experience of playing at wing back Lee not at all under Bruce Rock it's a very very demanding role as we can see the full backs are exposed both offensively and defensively lots of support inside them but going forward they need to try and get the ball into the box for the two up front and a few years ago there were many who wondered if Dortmund would still be around but they certainly bounced back and of course got to the Champions League final in 2013 they are a fabulous football club Lee well they are and one word springs to mind for me charisma really like this club I think they've got everything that a neutral watching a game in the Champions League would cherish great ground great atmosphere both home and away when they turn up and also they've got a great kit and introducing the Borussia Dortmund side it looks pretty orthodox, Lee. Yeah, I love this formation, 4-4-2. The two main strikers will stay close together. The full-backs will link up with the wide players. The two holding midfielders will sit in front of the centre-backs. Very solid look about this team. And it's Dennis. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Now Thomas Delaney. Well, match day one in the UEFA Champions League, always exhilarating. And oh, a chance to fire them ahead here. A brisk start and a quick goal. Well, the manager would have said, keep it tight at the back and see if you can nick an early goal. And they certainly have done. Well, it's not a brilliant goal, but it's a goal. It's in the back of the net. Keeper couldn't do anything about it. Well, let's go back to the goal that was scored. So the game back in business. It's Borussia Dortmund with the lead here. Wesley has it. And giving the ball to the opposition that time. Highly purposeful attack, this. The emphasis on getting the ball forward. Maneuvering his way forward. And he's pulled it back here. No problems grabbing hold of that one. They don't normally need a second invitation to give it a go on the counter. In full control of the ball here. Oh, the crossbar is still reverberating. And cleared away. Axel Witz, it's there for him. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Well, that was pretty much the game right there, if that goes in, but not to be. He's given it away. Less than convincing defending. Staunch rear guard action. And the defender takes care of business. Jaden Sancho. Thomas Delaney, can they convert? Great work defensively, but still the chance. Marco Reus, oh, it's in for Borussia. 
Borussia Dortmund. It is going their way. Well, as we see from the replay, the keeper's got no chance. It's all about the strike, all about the power. He does everything right, head down, back of the net. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. Well, a second goal for them here. And it's Dennis. Vanakken now. Is he going to punish them here? Let's see what he has in store for them. And they could get one back here. It goes beggingly. That could have been the ticket back into the game. Well, two goals down. You can't keep wasting chances like this. Well, can he make this move count? Axel Witzel. And it's a story of forward momentum from Borussia Dortmund. Can they produce? With Mario Götze. The case of foot. Is it going to be? Just wanted to get it out of there. Just straying offside. Former. He's lost it. Mario Götze. And a powerful effort, but just lacking accuracy. Yeah, narrowly wide, Derek. Decent effort. He smashed it. Well, he's given it away. Well, it's a fine-looking Dortmund attack, but the question is, what can they do from this position? And the danger clear. And they'll have to throw it back in play. Piszczek dispossessed. Let's have a look at that again. All defenders look away. Nobody likes to see this. It's poor, you have to say, but it's important now that he puts his head back on and starts to concentrate on the rest of the game. So there we have it. 2-1. The referee's verdict is three additional minutes. Marco Reus, Delaney, and good sir, good tackle, and the defender find the first half here comes to an end. Frequently inspirational Marco Reus, and tonight is no exception, Lee. Wow, he's simply the difference between these two sides. All the eyes will be on him for this second half. Can he get the hat-trick?
as the second half begins here, it's Borussia Dortmund out in front. It's an enterprising Dortmund attack. Can they take advantage of the situation? The goal seem to be at his mercy, but defenders don't always have to touch the ball to have an influence. No, it's that pressure that comes from the defender that makes him hurry his shot. Close. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. And this is Royce. Beautifully timed. Manakin now. With Mario Götze. The finish, a good one from Mario Götze. Well, let's see that one again. It's all about the contact, does everything right. He's not bothered where the goal is. He knows where it is. He gets a beautiful strike on it. A chance to revisit the goal. No shortage of goals in this match. 3-1. Wesley. The ball with Van Aken. Axel Witzel. Marco Reis. Promising attack this from Borussia Dortmund. What can they do from here? Options are plenty. Showing ambition to shoot from there. Goalkeeper has it. The ball with Van Aken. Ball's gone. Wesley. Powerful enough, but precise enough. No, not accurate enough at all. He had other options on as well. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Lukas Piszczek with it. And Witzel with it. Marco Reis. That is how to apply the pressure. Mario Götze. And it's a story of forward momentum from Borussia Dortmund. Can they produce? And it's come off the keeper. And it is a Dortmund corner. And a deep ball in. And you need your defender to take charge. And a Dortmund corner here. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Royce taking this one. Can they convert? And the goal gaping at him. And a goal! Well, here's the replay. You've got to ask questions about the back line and the goalkeeper. They're simply not there. Let's go back to the goal that was scored. Well, it has 
has been one-sided, but they deserve the plaudits for the fact that they've kept going and going. Vanakam now. Is it going to end up being productive for them? Unable to trouble the defence with that cross. And putting his body on the line. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. And he's fired over the corner. Marvellous Nakamba. Space and time for the cross. He's in with a chance. Only ten minutes remaining here. Now, what can he do here? Well, he has just veered into an offside position this time. Here's Goodson now. He hears the footsteps and feels the pressure. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Pulisic. Given away. Well, it's a foot and foiled only by the crossbar. They've given it away. He does love to get in amongst the goals. Marco Royce. See that one again it's all about the contact does everything right he's not bothered where the goal is he knows where it is he gets a beautiful strike on it slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. And just the one minute left in normal time here. Diata. Full time then, and the ideal start for Borussia Dortmund. They have three points from their first match in the Champions League. Well, it's everything you want from the start of match one. Good, strong start. That result will give everybody confidence, especially the players. Well done.